Hey guys, so I just wanted to bring this video to you because I've been getting inundated with so many questions about the deferral. So I figured why not do another video and here I am. So what happens um, after you've been approved for a uh, deferral amid the COVID-19? Okay, first I want to define what a deferral is when it comes to mortgages. A deferral is a postponement of an action or an event. So when it comes to mortgages, a deferral actually means that the interest accrued from each deferred payment is being added back into the principal balance of the mortgage. So clients who are actually approved, which not very many have been, but there's been quite a few, uh, for the deferral would actually be charged interest on top of interest payments that were actually deferred, all right, or postponed. So what does this all mean? It means that you are still responsible for the deferred payment regardless. And the only difference is that when this money is due, you have to pay it at the end of the term. Meaning, if you break your mortgage for refinance, that's when that would get paid. If you are selling your home, that's when that would get paid. If you need to renew your mortgage, that's when it would get paid. You wanna do that and then extend your amortization, all right? So essentially, what you're doing is you're increasing the balance of your mortgage when you defer your payment. If you are not desperate for this financial relief program, it's probably not the best thing to take it. However, if you are in the industry that you can actually foresee a layoff, for instance, for instance, the, the hospitality industry or um, like the tourism industry or a restaurant industry, it's best to be prepared. So talk things through with your mortgage broker and have a plan before requesting a deferral. Uh, when it comes to rent deferrals, this is this one gets really a it's a really heated topic. Um, your landlord, as you know, is supposed to pay the mortgage. They will issue an eviction notice after the pandemic is over. Right now, they can't do it, but they can still issue it after the fact because it's your your landlord is responsible to pay their mortgage. So if they're not able to actually get their mortgage deferred, rent is still due. So best that you communicate with your landlord if you're not able to make the full rent payment. They will want that money at the end and you'll have to make a balloon payment at the end. Believe you me, they will take you to uh, the tribunal to get their money back if you do not pay. Okay, so the money is still due. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and don't forget to share this video because again, you never know who needs it. Um, and I'm, my next video is gonna be on credit cards because people wanna know what's gonna happen with credit cards and uh, in a credit report. All right, so until next time, stay safe, stay home, uh, and live with passion. Be blessed.